<laughs> we'll just leave that under the carpet. Never happened. Uh, uh, do you, does everybody in this room know what Writer's Song is about? Because I've told the story a couple times, but I would like... Does anyone want to know what it's about? Writer's right. Song? Um, it's a very, very sad story, but, but compelling and rich. Um, whoever's right there in the dark laughs a lot. I'm really happy about that. I have a buddy named Ryder. He used to live upstairs for me. And um, right when I moved in to uh, the house that I live in right now, it was not too long ago, like a year ago, year and a half ago, and uh, he was going through this thing where essentially he and this, guy, this girl, uh, they fell in love. They do what people do and sometimes when they fall in love and she got pregnant. And uh, she kind of freaked out and, and uh, listened to some crazy people in this crazy church she was going to that said, well, you know, if he really loved you and cared about you, he wouldn't be in this position. He wouldn't have, wouldn't have put you in this position. I don't know how the mechanics of that exactly would work, <laughs> but obviously that's crazy. But she felt um, guilty, and so she was kind of nutty and to a point where she bought it, and she quit talking to him. And he was, his heart was broken. Like I moved in and like I could see it on this guy's face. I didn't even know him. I could tell his heart was broken. And um, he's like, man, I, I just, I, I love her. I want to marry her. What, all we used to talk about when we were dating, which was for this very short amount of time, is that we were going to get married. And now it's crazy. It's like she's another person. So this song is a song from him to her. Asking her to, to listen to him instead.